Okay, continuing the tour upstairs. So what we got here in the living room, the uh, Livestone Chinensis, Chinese fan palm doing awesome uh, over the winter. Put out uh, uh, two new fronds each on this one and one on that guy. Getting really full now and I'm gonna be able to cut off some of this old crap really soon. Um, you know, expose some of the really nice full wide open palmate fronds, um, but it's uh, it's doing really, really well. Um, no damage at all indoors and no pests this year, so that was really good. Uh, the uh, Hyophorbi uh, Vercafeltii, um, my uh, spindle, um, also growing really well, but um, never ending uh, scale attacks, uh, soft scale, uh, which is easy to scrape off and stuff like that. Uh, you can kind of see some of the evidence, uh, some of the, that little shiny, uh, shiny stuff there. Uh, looks like uh, sticky, wet stuff. That's them moving around. Um, do I have any evidence of any actual like scale? Maybe this on well, this guy on that little leaflet there. Um, but it's stayed small enough that I've been able to um, uh, control each different part that go, you know, that, that it attacks uh, without rubbing alcohol and some Q-tips and removing them. But it takes like daily checks to uh, to uh, keep them manageable, unfortunately. And then um, I'm going to hit it with uh, Safer Zendol when it goes outside in the summer, hopefully to get rid of the rest of the scale. But uh, really nice um, addition to uh, the living room right here. Really beautiful. Uh, good color on the trunk and everything like that. Really happy with that. Drinking like crazy. Um, just passed a, a couple gallons through it the other day and uh, we'll do so again coming up here soon. Uh, and the ballad of the variegated Ravinia rivularis, um, you'll notice that uh, it had a twin, a non-variegated twin right next to it and that one uh, rotted and died and I thought I was going to lose this guy too but I didn't. I carefully removed the other one and uh, this guy's been doing okay putting out um, a new frond since that happened. And uh, another new spear right there. So hopefully that new spear will be variegated because this frond wasn't just like this one wasn't. So it seems like I get a variegated one and then a non one and kind of goes back and forth. So keeping it alive uh, hasn't had any pests um, since uh, since uh, I had to do that spider mite video um, back at the end of summer. Uh, it's been uh, kept uh, really well and um, yeah, passed a lot of water through it. Don't know why the other one rotted. Uh, I guess it just happens. Um, this guy was immune to, to that uh, uh, fault. So yeah, hopefully keep it going and it needs to get outside in the summertime too. All of these are really just dying for it. So, um, and I moved, uh, since my last video, I moved the uh, uh, Washingtonia Robust up here to the spot where the... Um, Bismarckia was, so I'm going to go shoot uh, that Bismarckia next and I'll uh, show you what that's looking like. Peace. Okay. Bismarckia nobilis. Um, putting out one, two, three so far here in the winter. And uh, it's getting more and more uh, segments uh, each time it puts out a new spear, so that's really exciting gonna be big and beautiful uh, when it gets out in the summer and uh, also pretty bulletproof. I've been getting some brown tips here but uh, haven't been attacked by anything. Uh, keep it even moisture through it. Didn't want to uh, rot this guy so I do let it uh, drought slightly more than uh, my other ones. Um, this uh, Trinex radiata Florida thatch gets quite a bit of water. Um, the Bismarck here not as much um, but um, yeah gonna be uh, really beautiful when this uh, when this guy opens up and puts out another one as soon as I get it outside in about uh, I got probably two more months unfortunately two and a half months maybe before any of these can go outside it's June here usually for us in um, in uh, Regina Saskatchewan um, in the prairies here not like my palm brothers in Ontario and BC who are able to take their indoor uh, specimens out uh, sometime at the end of March usually um, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty sad that, uh, they got to stay inside for me for longer, but that's the way it is here. Anyway, just going to head up to the, uh, to the other room, show you the other palms. Peace. Boom. Okay. Up here to the living room now. 
on the uh, landing of the stairs. Sorry about the mess. Um, got our uh, Camadoria Safrizi uh, repotted over the winter. Hey, monkey, how's it going? I'm good. Just uh, he's just shooting a palm video. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah so, you want to come down and see? So this guy's doing uh, really well. I like I said, I repotted uh, back in December. And um, he's been putting out uh, quite a bit of new growth uh, and getting a lot taller. And uh, also since my last video, I had a, uh, a spathe also put out and, uh, and it was looking good. Um, yeah, and it's awesome with the palm. And there's a bunch of flies in them. Yeah, gnats. Or whatever they're called. I like to call them flies. <laughs> Yeah, I know you like this one. I know you like this one. And moving over here, got a Camadoria Metallica. Um, My favorite. Also doing good. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting darker being over here. Two uh, favorites. My two favorites, fishtail and that one. Yeah. How's the fishtail doing? How's the fishtail doing? Not as good. No. Got lots of brown tipping on it. I um, Put out some uh, weird um, kind of malformed uh, uh, leaflets here on the frond. Uh, maybe it's uh, nutritionally deficient in some way, but uh, yeah, it's staying alive. And um, yeah, it's probably just really dying to get outside just like the rest of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a couple more months, like I said. Uh, Camadoria elegance, looking really nice. No work needed, no uh bugs on this guy um this guy had scale my uh, caryotomitis fishtail here had scale and uh spider mites at the exact same time so that's probably also why it's looking like garbage um not doing well but uh yeah yeah coming along coming along and over here in the corner uh absolutely bulletproof uh the uh european fan palm here camera ups humilis Thanks for watering, bud. <laughs> it's bulletproof because it hasn't got any damage on it. It uh, doesn't get really get brown tips. Uh, it hasn't hasn't had any hasn't had any um, uh, bugs on bugs on it or anything. Or uh, yeah, it uh, takes uh, quite a bit of water actually. I, I keep it uh, even more moist than my Bismarckia nobilis, but um, it's uh, it's spitting out. Um, Usually four fronds at once, and this guy's about to open here, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get him outside in the summer. But honestly, he could even stay in all year round and look uh, absolutely perfect here in this uh, facing this like south window here. He gets enough light, hopefully. So, last but not least in the house is my uh, Adenidia uh, Morelli Triple Christmas Palm, um, hurting to get outside too. Um, getting a lot of brown tipping. Um, lost a couple of fronds on it, um, but um, usually due to uh, mite damage. Um, haven't had mites since about December, but uh, had quite a bad attack then and had to treat it, but uh, still spitting out new spears. And uh, hopefully they're, uh, hopefully they're op you know, gonna be uh, uh, opening into healthy stuff, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a battle, I tell you for sure. Uh, keeping them happy inside. Um, another one of the ones that needs to get outside in the summertime. But yeah, you guys like this one, huh? Yeah. Okay, everybody. What is this? Say bye to Prairie Palms. No. Bye. Bye, Prairie Palms. Thanks, guys. We'll shoot the uh, next one over at the office with my. Uh, Foxtail and uh, coconut. Show you an update on those Stay guys. Thanks. Bye.